Hello everybody. In this episode, we're going to be talking about sweating copper. Now, that may or may not be a term you've heard before, but it's a term you hear a lot in plumbing. And basically what sweating copper is, is it's joining two pieces of copper pipe together with some type of coupling, a 90, a T or something, um, by using a torch to get it hot and uh, some tin wire. And you're basically going to melt this wire down uh, and make a seal in between your coupling and your copper pipe. Uh, now, some, some history behind this. This stuff actually goes way back ancient Roman Empire. Uh, they were using lead and they were actually using the lead to make their whole pipe by folding it over and, and melting that edge down by pouring lead down into that groove to make a whole solid pipe. So this stuff goes way back. Uh, but to get us going here, there's some things you're going to need to start with. And first and foremost, you're going to need a torch. Now, uh, this is map gas. You can get a variety of different gases. You can get propane, you can get acetylene. Um, sometimes, depending on where you are, if you're in an industrial job or a big commercial job or something like that, they might require to use a certain kind of gas. Uh, I know a lot of the guys I've talked to, uh, your big commercial guys, they use acetylene. Um, like I said, there's also propane and this is map gas. It's a mixture of different gases and they burn at different temperatures. Map gas, what we use is somewhere in the middle. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is some way to light it. Now this is a really old school thing. I grew up with these guys and it's just a little piece of flint in there uh, and it throws sparks if you can see that. <laughs> This one's old, I've had this one for a while. Uh, I don't really prefer these guys. Uh, if you've got just a regular old cigarette lighter in your pocket, that seems to work just fine. Uh, the next thing you're gonna need is uh, some flux. Uh, it's a type of acid paste. It's there to clean the copper and it gives you a better uh, solder joint when you're done. Um, you're gonna want a brush to brush that stuff on you don't really want to be playing with this with your hands too much because it is a type of acid. Um, you're going to need some sandpaper. Uh, now you can use regular sandpaper, but I prefer this mesh stuff. I think it cleans a lot faster and you get a lot more use out of it. It, it lasts longer. Um, and then of course you will need your solder. Now this stuff has changed over the years. I remember back in the day there was acid core and they even had some lead solder, but they've gotten rid of all that bad stuff. And this is pretty much just tin and it's got a little bit of silver to it to give it a nice, nice solid shine and uh, it lasts longer. Um, and then of course you will need a variety of couplings, fittings, 90s, T's, um, whatever. We don't really see a whole lot of this in plumbing anymore, but if you're doing service work, you may have to sweat a joint together or uh, tub spouts. Tub spouts are still copper because you need something rigid that's not going to snap off and CPVC doesn't hold up and PEX kind of flops around because it's a flexible tubing. Copper is going to be your best bet because it's not going to rust and it's going to hold up pretty well. Um, the next thing you will need is some cutters, some type of copper cutters. Uh, I'm not going to go into this a whole lot because this is a different tool and there's a whole other video on that. So I think that kind of covers just a touch in history, uh, all the parts you're going to need to take in your toolbox. What we're going to do now is we're going to go over to one of our little training stations and we're going to put some of this on a, in a vise and I'm going to show you how to sweat some copper. All right, guys, well, the first thing you're going to want to do is pull out that trusty piece of sandpaper. Uh, now, you are going to need to clean this. See how it's got uh, just kind of a coating on it? Now, this stuff's probably been laying out in the yard. Who knows? It's been sitting on a shelf for a while. But you just take this stuff, scrub it on there really good. And you see how nice and shiny it is there now? Get all that old crud off of there. Give you a good good joint good sweat joint uh, we're gonna put it in our vise now this is just for training so I'm not trying to be too careful here but when you're 
putting copper in a vise, remember that is a soft copper and you can squish it. If you squish it, throw it away. Go get another piece. Uh, next thing, your fittings. Now these fittings, they tend to be pretty shiny because they don't lay around outside. They've got these in the building in little bins and stuff. But you're still going to want to clean it out. So what I do is take my little scuff strip here, kind of wrap it up like that. Get a little pointy thing on it, stick it in there and scrub it around like that. Go ahead and do both sides. And get your other section here that we're gonna join together. Now, this ain't so bad when you're sitting here on a bench trying to do something like this, but uh, out in the field when you're working in a wall or something, it gets to be pretty difficult. But basically, your fittings are gonna go together like this. Now, this particular coupling does have the little bump stop in it. You can get some that don't have that, and I don't know if I can show you. Uh, there's a little knot. There's actually two little knots in there. I don't know if you can see it, but it stops it. So you got the equal amount of coupling on one end and equal amount of coupling on the other. But before we get too carried away, we got our flux and we got our little acid brush. We're gonna get a little bit on there and we are gonna go around like this and get a good coating on that. Um, just be careful with this stuff, especially if you're doing like a tub spout and you've got uh, a drain piece down there that's finished. This uh, flux, it will burn through a finish um, like chrome or that Ulra bronze or um, stainless steel, whatever finish you're dealing with it will, it'll eat it alive. So uh, always protect that stuff. Getting ahead of myself. Get up inside your fitting too. Now when you're doing couplings, if you're lucky enough, you can shoot that copper all the way to one side. Now don't put your brush up yet because you're gonna wanna clean up with that later. Um, so let's get our torch going. I like to use the good old trusty lighter. Don't light this thing wide open. Always keep it kind of down. Now when you get to going, you're gonna wanna adjust that temperature to where you want it and I'll let it go out. How about that? Now, Go ahead and get your wire with about that much on it so you can touch it. And that's how you're going to test your temperature as you go. Uh, I've seen people say you got to go all the way around this thing and heat up all the way around it. But uh, what I found out is you can just kind of hold it in one spot and it will heat up pretty evenly. That flux is going to melt. You touch your wire. See how that wire just melt and it shoots right on around? watch it it'll suck right up in there real fast real quick and then take your acid brush and clean that black gunk off of there get you a nice shiny little joint there make it look pretty somebody gonna come behind you and say look at that man but that's it that's how you sweat copper now another thing that I would do is carry a rag with you a wet rag so now that you're at this point, you can wipe it down with that wet rag so it's not hot anymore because it's still pretty hot. But if you were running a long run of this, you're just gonna keep on going and let that cool off. But that's basically it. It takes a lot of practice. Uh, I've been doing it for a little while. Uh, I don't do it as much as I would like to uh, because this is one of my favorite things in plumbing to do. All right, that's about it. Thanks a lot, guys.